I'm Ajo. This is my first video tutorial in Blender. In this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to generate a normal map from an open source software called Blender. Okay. For generating a normal map, we need to follow some steps. Okay. We are, you must have two type of models, namely high poly model and low polygon model. We can also generate a normal map from the low polygon model also. Okay. To illustrate that, I made a very simple scene which has a low polygon model where normal map is applied to the low polygon model. You can see this detail. I move this model. You can see that. And it is a high polygon model. You can see the polygon is very high. Next is standard primitive model. Uh, you can see this object. Okay. Next this is the low polygon model, which which we are going to generate a normal map for this low polygon model. Before generating a normal map, we must follow some steps. Namely, we have to do UV map and we have to assign a texture for the low polygon model. So we have to do, do the UV map. For the low polygon model we have to get into the edit mode and select all the faces okay and mesh click uv under uv under you can see the blender has done the uv under for us next select each and every faces in the uv map okay i'm going to select all the faces okay next i'm going to ask an image file for this so image new 1k is enough so i'm going to name it as normal map underscore map yeah okay next i have to place this normal map exactly at the top of the high polygon model so i'm going to place it out place it out going to touch up out. I think it's enough next we have to select the high poly model so I'm going to select the primitive model high poly model the low poly applied normal map next the low polygon model after selecting this you have to select the low polygon model at, at the last okay next get into scene tab scene panel and in the render and the button you will find a big tab where it will be usually it will be full rendered and selected to be active will be off you have to turn it on i'm going to turn on all the norms normals and select it to be active and keep the normal space as a tangent if you're not going to keep this as a tangent you're not going to see any information or blender is not going to generate any normal information for you so keep it as tangent and just click bake I think margin margin is enough to to is enough for this tutorial so we need to bake it out I think that has to the process yeah it is doing very quick let's see it has done the job okay let us see the normals in this plane let us see I'll let us apply the normal to this plane and see how it look like so I'm going to assign a shader for this next I'm going to assign a texture and see Assign a texture type as an image. You can you can load this normal map from normal map. Okay, you can see this stuff. And it's very important. You have to turn on this normal button. You have to turn it on. If you're not going to turn it on, you are not going to see any normal information in the viewport. So it's so it must be turned on. Next in tangent space, the normal space must be tangent. We don't turn on the object or world. It must be tangent. Next, get in the shader panel. In map input, it must be UV. Next is map two. It must be normal. Don't turn on the turn off the color. And in case normal map value, you can see the normal map detail over here. See that? Huh? So I move this slide. You can see. Yeah, I think it's fine. Now we can see the normal map. And uh, you can use game engines or if I render. So I'm going to save it out. I'm going to save save as from map. I'm going to save it as save as image as switch. 
and use the solver map in the external editor to edit the color value all those things using jump okay that's it guys that is for this tutorial have a nice day if you have any doubt in normal map generation you can just send me a mail i'll clear your doubts bye guys